GamesWeasel.com Review Wimbledon's just about wrapped up here in the UK and everyone's finishing off their pims and strawberries and cream and as a result there have been a couple of tennis games out recently. One is Virtua Tennis 2009 which I've just given away to some people and also the other is EA's Grand Slam Tennis which is the first game to use Nintendo's new Wii Motion Plus controller. Unfortunately Nintendo haven't sent me one yet so I'll have to review the game based on the standard remote and nunchuck. As with previous tennis games on the Wii if you play with just the remote the game controls the player so you can concentrate on your swing and of course if you've got the nunchuck connected you can control your character using the joystick. When you swing the remote hitting early on time or a bit late changes the direction of your shot, whilst pressing A or B whilst you take your shot will either do a lob or a drop shot. You can also move to the net or the baseline by tapping up or down on the D-pad. As you'd expect when you are swinging a Wii remote around, you don't always pull off what you intend to when you swing your racket, but nevertheless the game is great fun to play thanks to some great presentation. Play Grand Slam mode and you can compete in various exhibition matches and all the big tournaments on varying surfaces. As you beat star players, you also gain their attributes and slowly increase the stats of your player. And the star players are very varied and all drawn in a unique cartoon style which works much better than say Virtua Tennis. Andy Murray, Nadal and Federer are in there along with the Williams sisters and Maria Sharapova, but also older greats like uh, Martina Natratilova, Pete Sampras, Pat Cash and even John McEnroe. Sharapova's grunting is in there when it comes to sound effects and even McEnroe's outbursts blare through the remote speaker if he drops a particularly bad shot. A word of warning, the AI players are incredibly good even on easy and this game really does come into its own when you play with a friend in the same room or of course online. Matches can get really tense and there's enough shot variety to send opponents all over the court before you finally win a point. Online is also very smooth and you can play singles and doubles in ranked or unranked matches. Throw in a calorie counter which takes track of how many calories you've burnt whilst playing, some party games and of course the Wii Motion Plus support which I read makes the game even better and you've probably got the best tennis game of the year. Grand Slam Tennis gets a very good 7 out of 10. You've been watching a review from Games Weasel. If you want to get the show each week, which includes video game reviews, news, previews, competitions and special features, then head over to gamesweasel.com for our video podcast, Games Weasel TV. Gamesweasel.com